As you know, at Condo Wong, we love to be innovative. So here I am, the first version of Condo Wong AI. And I will be your host for two episodes where I bring you out to actual condo units for case studies. In this first episode, I will show you two units in a condo by the downtown waterfront. They were both priced at $750,000 at pre-construction back in 2018. The first one is a south-facing 667 square foot, one plus 10 unit with partial lake view. The second one is a northeast corner two bedroom unit, 735 square feet with a wrap around balcony. They are on the same floor. On paper, which one would you pick? Same price. Comment below and let me know. Now, let me bring you out to the actual unit. You let me know whether you have changed your mind after seeing the real thing. And I will let you know which unit gets more rent and which unit rents out faster in today's downtown Toronto rental market. All right, ready? Let's go. Welcome to the one plus 10 unit. We have a very spacious bathroom. And a very big den. You can fit a double bed here, no problem at all. Kitchen and dining area. Living room. Here's what you pay your premium for. A lake view on the south. The construction there will be a huge public park, so your lake view will be pretty permanent. Coming back to see the bedroom, small walk-in closet. And you also get a nice lake view from your bedroom. Now let's check out the two bedroom unit. A full bathroom here. The living and dining space is quite a bit bigger than the OnePlus 10. And you get enough view over to the downtown core. Looking east with the Gardiner Expressway and Go Train Rail. I personally think the city view is pretty nice too. A small bathroom with lot of windows but you also get a huge pole at the corner. The master bathroom with an ensuite full bathroom. So, for the same price, which unit would you pick? I can tell you that on paper, the OnePlus 10 sells better than the two bedroom. People just love self-facing. 
there is a premium they still want to face south and with the lake view it was an easy sell now that the real thing is built how are these two units performing in the rental market which one gets rented out faster it took us 20 days to find a good tenant for the one plus ten for the two bedroom units it took us 44 days the main obstacle was the huge pole in the smaller bedroom you can fit a double bed there but it is tight in downtown toronto it is typical that two bedroom units are rented by two friends sharing the rent because that is cheaper than renting a one bedroom unit each for this particular two bedroom unit it was tough getting one friend to take the room with the pole and the other taking the master bedroom what about the rent the one plus ten and the two bedroom had the same price should we expect the same rent then the one plus ten was leased for two thousand six hundred dollars per month and the two bedroom was leased for three thousand two hundred dollars per month six hundred dollars more than the one plus ten so in terms of rental yield the two bedroom is much better what about the resale price there's no data available yet because this building is still undergoing occupancy my guess is that the two bedroom would sell a little higher because it is a bigger space with two bedrooms and two full bathrooms and the view is really not that bad at all again this goes back to the same lesson that i shared with you a couple weeks ago if you are buying an investment unit don't put your own emotions into your decision because you are not your buyer investors love south-facing units and they love views that's why in most pre-construction projects south-facing units always have a premium but when it comes to end users who are actually living in these units they might rank things differently than you for example they probably appreciate space more than views one common mistake i see from investors is that they always want to buy parking because they live in a suburb and they always drive themselves so they think parking is a must contrary to what you think a lot of people actually don't drive in downtown toronto and they are not willing to pay extra rent for a parking spot i hope you enjoyed this episode with a real case study next week is home staging worth your money i will answer that question by showing you another two units make sure you subscribe and hit the bell now so you won't miss the answer.